Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy D1 for you. Yet another YouTube video at this time. So, have ourselves a little deck profile for you guys today. Obviously, Zombies got new support in the Dimension Force pack. So, just waited until I got all the support. Everything's together here. Now, we're going to give you guys a nice little deck profile. It's not a competitive build by any stretch. It's a nice, fun build. Of course, you can add competitive elements to the deck to make it solid. So, so with all of that said, let's go ahead and get straight into the deck. Of course, as always, we're going to start off with the monsters. Of course, Unizombie, Shirinui, um Spectral Sword, Solitaire. And triple Mizuki for your staple zombies, of course. Everything except uh, Spectral Sword, you basically run in every zombie build. Of course, for the Battle Joke stuff, we have a uh, Doom King, a Double Doom King, Double Banshee, and Double Glow Boom for your Battle Joke package as well. Now, some of the new stuff, we have um, the Mad Mauler. Now, this is one of the uh, new tuners that came out of, of the new set, of course. So, basically, if you guys didn't already know what this does, this special summons itself uh, from the graveyard. While you have a, you can target a level 6 uh, higher monster you control, special summon this card and reduce the level 6 or higher attack uh, levels monster by 2. Which means you're going to reduce the level 6 to level 4 to make a level 6 synchro play, so on and so forth. And it doesn't banish itself when it leaves the field. So you can use this effect every turn as long as you have a um, level 6 or higher monster to draw your levels from. So this card is actually pretty solid and recurrable for you know future plays. Tatsunikro. Something that, you know, most zombie decks don't run, but what this card does is, uh, when this normal summon card is on the field, you can banish um, materials, including itself, to Synchro Summon. So, obviously, there are a variety of different monsters that get effects when banished. You know, Shirini Package, of course, if you run, run that in here, this will help trigger their effects. And some of the other further support will trigger their effects as well when I get to it. Double Chain Chi. Now this is one of the targets I was talking about for uh, Tatsu Necro. Um, so this one, when it's banished, you can banish another zombie from the graveyard to special summon this card. And its on-field effect is you can send a zombie from your hand or deck to the graveyard. And of course, this is a level six zombie with 2,000 attack. So you know you can you know do synchro plays based off that. You can use Mad Mala to. Uh, reduce this level to 4, but summon it and make it level 6 synchro play from there. So this card is actually pretty solid and you know obviously it sets off a variety of different effects because it banishes from the graveyard as well. Uh, 2 Jekka Bowling. Now this card uh, special summons itself from the hand by discarding a zombie monster. And while the card is face up on the field, you can special summon a zombie from your graveyard and banish this card. But the uh, monster, hmm, special summon by this card's effect has itself banished when it leaves the field. So obviously, of course, triggering off effects that are banished as well, like Jane G's effect as well. So it's pretty solid. One copy of Al Ghul Mazero. So this card, um, when banished, can when banished from the hand or the graveyard. You can trigger this effect to special summon itself from the banished pile and reduce its level by one if you want to. So you can make this from a level eight to a level seven. And also, when your zombies are destroyed by uh, when your opponent attempts to destroy your monsters by battle or card effect, you can discard this. You can banish this card from your hand or graveyard to protect your zombies from being destroyed by battle or card effects. And which triggers off its second effect to special summon itself when it's banished. So this card can be both proactive and reactive as well, so it's definitely a solid. 
I'm going to copy a piece of the ferrule. Now this is some fun little tech. So piece of the ferrule is when you use it as a synchro summon, you can special summon a level 4 or lower zombie from your graveyard. That obviously includes itself or any other level 4 or lower zombies you have in the graveyard at the time of using this cause effect. So it's definitely a pretty solid and fun option for the deck. Uh, Shinobi Necro. Now this is some interesting tech as well as it has a banish effect. When it's banished from the graveyard, it can special summon itself. And also while it's on the field and you special summon one other zombie um, monster from your graveyard while this card is on the field, you can draw one and you can discard one. So obviously this can also um, trigger off your banish effect. You can use Jang Ji to trigger off this effect to banish this to special summon itself while special summoning Jang Ji as well for a level 8 secret option. Double Gozuki. Gozuki uh, once per turn sends a zombie from the deck to the graveyard. And when this card is sent to the graveyard, you can uh, banish another zombie to special summon a zombie monster from your hand. So both events are both effects are pretty uh, versatile. You can special summon your high level zombies, so it, there's no restriction on the zombie you can summon from your hand. So you can summon Baller Drop, uh, Al Ghul, um, Jack of Bolon and Jang Chi as well. Those could be good options to summon off this effect. Next we have Shooting Doji. Now this is some fun little tech as well. Uh, this card has two different effects. One, you can banish two zombies from your graveyard to draw one card. Obviously, you can banish your banish laborers to trigger off their effect. Their their effects while getting you a draw in the process. Also, its second effect shuffles. Uh, well, puts one banished zombie back to the top of the deck, so it can you know re recycle with uh, use zombies like Mizuki and the like to you know for you to use their effects again. Crow Tangle. Now, when this card is uh, destroyed by battle, or when it's special summoned from the graveyard, you can target one face-up attack position once the opponent shows and destroy it. So it has some decent implications there. You can special summon it during a variety of different ways, you know, so on and so forth. Of course, one Zami Crow. This one has the same requirements as um, Crow Tangle, but this one gets you a draw instead of popping a face up attack with your monster. Um, this one is pretty good when you combo with Vampire Sucker to get you two draws off the effect instead of one for some much needed advantage. Last we have Guard Ghost. Now this card is some pretty fun tech as well as it has two different effects. I've talked about this card in my um, my zombie discussion vid, so of course I had to you know implement this in real life as well. So basically, uh, when this card is special summoned from the graveyard, you can target one other zombie. It cannot be destroyed by battle of, of card effects this turn. Secondly, when it's, uh, this card is currently banished and was banished this turn, you can add this card to your hand during the end phase. So this card is pretty important for your um, for your event banish enabling plays, as you can, you know, you don't lose any real advantage from it. Like you can use cards like Allure, even Jang Ji's effect will um, trigger this. You can use um, uh, Shonu Shokan Saga to tr uh, trigger this. You know, all of the advantage enablers will trigger this effect to get this card to the end phase, so that you're not really losing any advantage. Alright, so that is it for the monsters. We're going to go into the spells. Alright, first we have two zombie wars, of course. The deck's win condition, of course. Hurts a lot of pretty decent decks that are in the meta these days. So, you know, it has some pretty, pretty decent matchups. Although it wasn't represented well, the deck is still a solid deck that can do pretty well. Two zombie rewards. Now this is one of the main reasons why I've won multiples of the high level zombies. Or well, just multiples of zombies period. You, this card will enable you to special summon a zombie from your graveyard by banishing another copy of the zombie from your deck. So there's a pretty decent combo with uh, two Jang Gs. So you can use this when you have one Jang G in the graveyard. Special summon that Jang G by banishing the other Jang G in your deck. 
and then JNG effect would, since it was banished you can banish another zombie from the graveyard to special summon it effectively giving you two JNGs on the field to you know set up for link plays you can do a rank 6 play or you can combo combo the two JNGs with a tuner for single plays you know you can link off the two JNGs it doesn't there's no restrictions on what you can do with the JNGs on the field so this card is really solid and also the second effect um, while it's in the graveyard, of course, you can only use one effect per turn, only once that turn. So you have to wait subsequent turns to use a second effect. So you would um, uh, put a target a banished zombie, put it back into the deck to reset this card. All right, so that's pretty good. Also, you know, replenishing your banished resources. One foolish burial course, stable. One, um, one gold sock, of course, banishing the JNG or banishing the uh, guard ghost. You can, you know, instead of waiting two turns to get the guard ghost, the guard ghost will come back immediately during the end phase if you want to put that card into rotation, as well as any other things you may want banished at the time. One call by staple. One hobby's feather left, of course, for the background. Two lower doctors, very important as you can um, of course use this to banish your gargoyles to get advantage for plus two. I mean basically you'll, you'll even out and the gargoyles will come back during the end phase which will net you a plus one in card advantage. Also Cheng Chi also will get her effect to go off since she is a dark zombie as well. What I also found out of what kind of disappointment it is um, Al Ghul is a earth zombie, so you can't banish it off of um, a Lord's effect to get Al, Ghul, Al Ghul's effect to special summon itself. That kind of hurt my heart, but you know, there are other options, of course. So, yeah. Excuse me. Lastly, to barrier from a different dimension, of course. Always, always important to be able to recur your banish options so that you can use them again. Right, that is it for the spells, traps, very recently. Only thing we run. Two sound strikes, of course. Staple for negating monster effects and summons. Alrighty, so that is it for the deck. So we're gonna go into the extra deck. First we have... First we have the Zombie Vampire now. The most important part of this effect, of course, is being able to attach material to mill the top four cards of you and your opponent's deck. And any monsters that were milled among them, you can special summon them to your field. So essentially, you can combo this with, um, with these two. Or you can even combo them with Guard Ghost to um, special summon them because they both have effects when this. All three of these have. Effects when especially summoned from the graveyard, you can use the guard ghost to protect your little zombies. You can use this to draw, and you can use this to pop a face up monster your opponent controls. So, you know, there's definitely some implications there. Or if you happen to mill any tuners, or you know, whatever the case may be, being able to special summon from the graveyard off of mill effects is really good. Also, it helps. It also, it helps you get some much needed zombies to the graveyard to set off for other effects. All right, so that's that. Next we have Link Rebo for the uh, Glow Bloom effects, of course. Vampire Savior for your Link 2 options. Um, of course, you're not gonna use this Vendred effect. You're gonna be using its uh, mill effect to mill a zombie to power, power down your opponent for 100 attack per each level of the monster you milled by this monster's effect. So if you mill a level four, your opponent's monster could drop down by 400, level 8, 800, so on and so forth. One vampire cycle, of course, gets you your draws or when you're special summoning a zombie monster from the graveyard. That's, that includes your opponent's graveyard, of course. And that's it, pretty good. One Christian Hockey Firebrax, of course, you know, sets up your. Uh, your global boom plays so you can 
You know, especially some of the tuna from the deck, of course, sets up your glow up loom so you can link off into Link Rebo and get you a free ball to rock, you know, on the field when you have Zombie Road in play. Also, second effect, um, in, in the case of this, we'll special summon a zombie tuner so that you can set up for more plays from here. Uh, one vampire fascinator. This one uh, special summons a monster from your opponent's graveyard. And also, you can tribute a vampire monster to take control of one of your opponent's monsters. Of course, you can tribute itself to do that as well. Alright, that's it for the links, the synchro options. We have a uh, Immortal Dragon, a uh, level 6 zombie that can uh, mill a zombie from the deck to the graveyard and its levels, it level becomes the difference between the two, between a zombie you milled and this card. So if you mill a level 4, level 2, it becomes level 2. If you mill a level 8, it becomes a level 2 as well. Also, while it's in the graveyard, when you're, uh, if your zombies are destroyed by battle, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. So you can get an extra use out of it. Level 7, uh, Red Eyes Zombie Necro Dragon. This card gets powered up from, you know, each zombie in the graveyard times 100. Also, when a, when a zombie monster is destroyed by battle, you can special summon a zombie monster from your graveyard. So, this card is pretty solid. It can get up to some pretty decent levels, you know, depending on the game state at the time of you summoning this card and being able to special summon, you know, triggers the aforementioned cards that I mentioned before. Of course, Barrel Load um, Savage Dragon, of course, for the amount of links we run. So you have pretty, uh, plenty of options to use and to get you an Omni Negate, of course, uh, while getting Barrel Counters for the link rating of the monsters that's equipped to this card. One Omega gets you back your zombies, of course, from Banish back to Grave, and it takes a, a monster from your opponent's hand and banishes it along with this card. Uh, Shirinui Shogun Silent, this one banishes, uh, when summoned, banishes a, a zombie from the graveyard, it gains attack equal to the monster's original attack, and basically your OTK enabler, OTK enabler, as can, it can get some pretty decent attack, you know, depending on the zombie you banish at the time. Also, when this card is, um, sent to the graveyard, you can put a zero defense zombie back into the graveyard. Uh, next we have Skeletor Dragon Felgrand. Now this card is actually pretty decent as basically when it's special summoned you can banish one uh, monster from your from either your opponent's field or the graveyard and also a second effect if uh, another monster is special summoned while this card is face up on the field you can target one, mo one monster on the field you can negate its effects until the end of the turn so it sort of acts like a single version of uh, Balajo and obviously it works splendidly well with Battle Joke if they're both on the field. So yeah, this card is pretty solid. Level 9 option, the uh, Graceful Mayakashi. Uh, this one, when it's special summoned, can um, special summon from the graveyard. It can target, no it doesn't even target, you can um, select the monster your opponent controls and destroy it, non-targeting removal. Um, and if this card is special summoned from the, well, like I said, if it's special summoned from the graveyard, non-targeting removal, and also it can be special summoned by um, its own effect, which you won't be using since I don't run the level 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 eleven synchro, but you can, of course. Um, yeah, level eleven synchro is destroyed by battle card effect, uh, banish another zombie, and special summon this card. For your level 10 option, of course, Shirinui Sun Saga. So this one um, shuffles back synchros from the Banish or Graveyard to destroy that many cards. And also its protecting effect banishes a Shirinui to protect your monsters from battle or card effects. Last but not least, um, I'm missing the card. Um, Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord. Uh, this card can, while in graveyard, can banish a zombie you control to special summon itself. Also, during your opponent's turn, you can special summon a zombie from your graveyard. So, of course, with the aforementioned 
uh, Skeletal Dragon, which essentially gets you a special summon every turn. So you can special summon your Skeletal Dragon, you know, for a form of disruption every turn. As long as you're able to get this back in the graveyard, you know, you can make the plays from there. Also, it actually is not restricted to... I just realized that, shoot. As long as the um, actual synchros were synchro correctly, you can bring back other synchros. So you can um, bring back the Bayakashi here. As long as this was synchro correctly, you can pop, you know, an uh, opponent's monster. And also you can um, special summon Shirinui Sun Saga. So also pop cards on the field if you have more, you know, synchros that are in the graveyard or banished at the time. So, you know, it actually serves a pretty decent purpose there. Okay, so this card is actually a lot better than I gave it, a lot better than I thought it was. So, yeah, okay. Just learned something there. A little tech for you guys, if you guys didn't already know that. All right, so. Of course, that is it for the deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, my zombie players hit me in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Of course, as I said in the beginning, it's not a competitive build. If you want to make this a competitive build of course you could run super polys ash blossoms and you know stuff like that rivalry of the warlord you can you can easily turn this into a competitive build so all right with that said i will leave that at that so i'll be bringing you guys more videos in the meantime but until then pieces youtube